I believe impossible is just like an engineering issue. So Doug Winters hangs on. The good news is he'll race. The bad news is he'll have to race who ends up, whoever ends up number one. Right now, that's Chris Thorne. And as a general rule, if your plan is to have a long day in the Fuel Tech Pro Mod Series, racing Chris Thorne in round one is not a good way to start as a rule. Now, there are exceptions to the rule. Brainerd, for example, was. Well, here come the uh, two Art of Inco cars, owned by Sidney Frigo. Adriano Canyon uh, driving the one on the left side. That is the Pro Charger car that Sidney drove earlier in the year. The 69 over here on the right side, that is a screw-blown car that he just debuted a couple of weeks ago. Remember the tail of the tape and Pro Mod. If it's got a flat hood and it's quiet, it's a turbo car. If it's got a flat hood and it's loud, it's a Pro Charger car. And if there's a big old blower sticking out of the hood, it could be either a roots blown or a screw supercharged car. And I'd love to be able to tell you, well, here's what you got to look for, but unless you know, it's pretty tough to tell from the stands. Sydney's got a screw car. That's the one in the right side. He also owns the Pro Charger car on the left side. They are qualified right on top of each other. I mean, like within a thousandth of a second. Adriano. Hey, Ian. Not exactly a household name in Fuel Tech Pro Mod, but if Sydney Frigo called me and said, hey, you want to drive my spare car? You bet I do. That's looking pretty good. 577, 246 Sydney, 578. Oh, you're kidding me. 247. Adriano, you, you guys aren't going to believe this. They both stepped up from 10 and 11. They run within six thousandths of a second. They are now eight and nine. The good news, hey, we stepped up. The good news, hey, we moved up. The bad news, right now, they would race each other in round number one. They just put themselves in as a round one matchup unless something changes.